A very big mistake, a misconception I have seen dentists for the last 25 years making is about the cost of marketing, how they calculate it. Never mind of what it actually, you know, cost, but how much business they need to make in order to make even for the money. And that miscalculation, that misconception, that using a completely wrong formula makes many, many doctors, dentists, um, believing that the marketing cannot be good. It's, it, it, I mean, it's too expensive, so then they don't do it. And if you heard another video of mine, the biggest problem with marketing not working is the it not being done. Now, let's look at it. Let's assume a marketing for a new uh, patient costs $200. Let's just put a number there. Most doctors across the country make anything between $2,000 and $5,000 per new patients. Now, they don't make that money necessarily right away. It may take a month, it may take five or six months, it might even take a year or two to get all those $5,000 um, to $5,000 in. It's basically what a patient is worth over a lifetime, which is two to five years um, as such, um, more or less. There are no hard numbers about it. But so let's just say it's $200. So here is the thing. Here's how where people, or $100, whatever, whatever you feel the number could be or should be. So let's, let's stay with $200. Here's how they calculate it. Let's assume they say, okay, my practice runs, they're putting something in it which isn't true or which they calculate wrong. My practice runs at a, let's say, 20% profit margin. Some practices run less than that. And by the way, percentages are not very important because, for instance, what do you rather have? 100% of your money and your sister's money and your brother's money and uh, whatever, you know, uh, a couple of other friends' doctors' money, 100% of my money altogether, or 1% of Bill Gates' money. Which would you rather have? Okay? So, the percentage is not super important. What's left over is important. Yeah? And people get hung on with percentages as well, but I'm not even talking about that now. Here's what happens. So, some people have a 10% profit margin, and some people have a 50% profit margin. 20 to 30 is, eh, well, ever a decent average. Again, if you fall outside of it, well, you fall outside of it. Um, and if you're higher up, um, so much the better. Uh, however, I know many doctors who make a 50% profit margin, uh, but make no more money or less money um, than a doctor who makes a 15% profit margin, but he does more business. And not right away say, yeah, but he works himself to death. No, no, actually quite often that guy doesn't because he has a whole bunch of other doctors working for him and he's actually what's called an absent owner. He doesn't, he's not changed to his practice. Back to my point. 20% uh, profit margin, let's use that as a thing. So people say, if, I, if it costs me $200 um, to market a 20% profit margin, I need to do basically five times as much business. I need to do um, $200 times five. I need to take in $1,000 to pay for that $200 uh, because that's my profit margin. Okay? Well, the mistake starts right there. And of course, for people who have a 10% profit margin, that's like, I need to take 10 times as much in it. I need to take in $2,000 to get that. Let me clear you up. Your electricity bill, your insurance bill, your rent or mortgage, you have uh, any and all payments you might have on your equipment and leasing and etc. including your staff. Okay, let's assume you're the doctor who does the work um, in this particular scenario, but including your staff, your receptionist, your office manager, your, your, your assistants, all that doesn't change whether you get a couple more people in or not. In fact, your variable every month will be quite a bunch of thousands of dollars in the first place. So if you get more people in it for you, you whom you paid $200, you don't calculate them on those 20% because that number is there. You pay for it already. All you pay is to make your money back 
is the actual cost you spend on delivering, which on an average is 10 to 15 percent. You know, on a root canal it's very little, on a crown and bridge it's a little more, but it turns out 10 to 15 percent for the average dentist out there, uh, which is cost. So, you know, if you sell $500 worth of treatment, it's probably 50, 60, whatever, some dollar, $70 of cost. And the other money is actually profit. However, you spend $200 to get him, so it's $275. So actually, on that patient, even if he spends only $500, as long as he comes in kind of like extra from what you do, which, you know, that's what the marketing will do, if, if, you spend five, if he only spends $500 and you spend $200 on marketing, you probably have a close to a 50% profit on that one guy. And if he spends $2,000, your cost to deliver is probably about $300. Your marketing cost is probably about is $200, as we said. It's $500. You have a $1,500 profit. Way more than 50% on what you spent, you know, in, 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 in getting it. Ladies and gentlemen, don't make the mistake of calculating your normal everyday life in it in the profit margin and then say, oh, I need to make so much out of it in order to make that marketing working. And that calculation will basically not work out. And you won't do it. And that's how you lose. The most money you lose in life is not the money where you overpay things, which you waste kind of. No! It's the money you never make. There's only so much you can save in any operation in the world. And there is an unlimited amount you can make. Thank you very much.